Hey everybody, Sponge Murphy here. How is all getting on today? So welcome back to update number 9 on the Road to Gullum and Payton Challenge. It's hard to believe that the next video after this is going to be update number 10. That means I've been doing this for roughly 10 weeks. I'm still on track. I know sometimes videos go up a little bit later than usual, but in general, the challenge is still going strong. I'm still going and it's been a blast. Some of these models have been fantastic. So when I get to update number 10, I'm going to ask you guys a question on that. But stay tuned till the end of the video to see what that question is going to be. And also stay tuned to the end of the video to see what I'm going to be painting for next week and what you guys voted on. So let's switch down to the desk view and see what I've done. Alright, so here he is. The chaplain is all finished. I was just thinking, is this a Primaris chaplain or is it just a chaplain? Because on the Conquest book, it just says chaplain, but he's pretty big. He's not a little small guy, or maybe the chaplains are this size anyway. I'm not too sure. But anyway, everything on this is totally different from painting the other Primaris Marines, color-wise. Because this guy, in the original pictures that you see, everything on a chaplain is all black. His armor is black, and the robes are black. So what I did, if you can remember back I mentioned, I wanted kind of a light and dark theme to the model. So I wanted to have a light robe with the dark armor. And I wanted to have a little bit of a nod to the ultramarine colors as well. So with the robe, I went with Rackhart Flesh and just a very, very light wash in some of the recesses. Um, maybe a bit too light, it's barely visible. But there's a nice solid colour on it, so I didn't want to do anything much more than that. Obviously, the armour is Abaddon Black. The metal, the usual lead belcher, null and oil, and stormhole silver over that. The gold with retributor armour. Um, but the bones in the chest is what I changed up the colour. I went over them with Zandri Dust, just to separate the colour from the robe. And then with an uh, Agrax Archshade Wash. And then I just highlighted the parts with uh, Zandri Dust again. So, you know, it turned out really nice. So, his left shoulder pad, as you can see coming up, that's to represent the ultramarine colours and another little nod to him as well was obviously the, the handle of the staff as well but the kind of scarf thing he has coming down I painted them blue to fit with the ultramarines as well so other than that everything is pretty straightforward the only other colour that was added in was on the book on the left side of his hip that's coming up now that was my fist on red with uh, the silver colours on the edges, on the corners, and then I'm pretty sure it was uh, Zandri dust on the inside of it for the pages. Uh, Agrax or shade wash over it, and then just kind of highlighted it up a little bit as well. So, overall, it's a really nice model. I enjoyed painting this guy. I'm happy there's only one of these usually in an army. I'm not sure if you can take two chaplains because he's very, very unique. He is, he stands out, he looks good, it's a great pose, you know, he looks really nice and I'm happy I didn't go with the black robe because you would have had the whole thing just all black so I kind of like the white in it as well. So yeah, I'm happy how he turned out. So that's it for the Chaplin model, fantastic model, love painting him. Thank you for voting on the Chaplin model, I can definitely see why you guys picked him. Um, I probably would have left him till near the end because I wasn't really fond of the model until I got my hands on the paint. So massive thank you for that. And for next week's video, you guys picked to paint the three aggressors. So I'm going to be painting them up for next week's video. So oh, that's going to be update number 10. So what I'm going to ask you guys is, I've been painting the Primaris Marines from the Conquest side for this challenge. Now, do I take a little small break? and start painting up some of the terrain. So, do I take a small little tiny break for maybe every third or every fourth video and start painting up bits of the terrain that came with it? Or do I just keep going blasting through with the Primaris Marines? I'm kind of, I don't mind changing the videos to doing a little bit of terrain that came with this set. So that's why I think maybe like every, maybe one video every month, not every second one or something like that. Like so one terrain video and every four videos. So let me let me know what you guys think about that. It's a little change. If you don't want me to change it, then I won't do it. Then I'll definitely keep the just doing the Premier's Marines, just them, and we'll get to the terrain maybe after the challenge. So if you guys like this video, make sure to leave a comment in the comment section, hit the like button, and subscribe if you already haven't. And once again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next video.